pretty rare sight in the world today, which gave way to the superstition that there's a disaster coming when they wash ashore. True or not, the giant oarfish is a majestic sight indeed. These bony fishes can grow up to lengths of 36 feet, with the largest recorded weight being... <laughs> Number 20, Thalatoarchon. As of this video, not a whole lot is known about the Thalatoarchon, considering it was only discovered around four years ago. However, experts can place its size to around 28 feet long, and that it belonged to the Ichthyosaur family, a distinct kind of prehistoric marine reptiles that lived during the Triassic period. Based on fossils, it's possible that it resembled a dolphin, except for its head, which is something I'll hope to forget next time I'm in the middle of the sea. Number 19, Thalassomedon. If the Loch Ness Monster was real, then cross your fingers that it isn't a Thalassomedon. These carnivorous creatures from the Cretaceous period that belonged to the Pleosaur family grew up to 40 feet long and were known to be one of the fastest underwater killers of the era. That's mainly because of its fins, which had a length of 7 feet each, allowing it to cover quite a distance with each paddle. And if giraffes knew anything about this animal, I should suspect they'd be a little bit jealous of its neck. Number 18, Giant Pacific Octopus. At up to 30 feet long from its head to the tip of its tentacles, and weighing anywhere from 130 to 165 pounds, although there are heavily debated records that even purport they could weigh up to a whopping 0.3 tons. This is the largest octopus that exists today. Aside from its size, the giant Pacific octopus is also known to be one of the longest lived octopuses out there, having a lifespan that's anywhere between three and five years. Number 17, Nothosaurus. The Nothosaurus were notorious predators during the Triassic era, as they are known to have been blitz hunters, in that they preferred attacking swiftly and by surprise to capture their prey. When you think about it, it's understandable that they would make use of this tactic. They're relatively smaller than other creatures of that era, being only 13 feet long and weighing only about 0.15 tons. But hey, size doesn't matter when you have the element of surprise. Number 16, Giant Squid. To this day, not much is known about the giant squid, especially when you consider that we have only recently been able to capture a live specimen not more than two decades ago. All other evidence either come from video footage or carcasses that wash ashore. As such, the largest known specimen humans have found of this deep sea jumbo calamari stands at 59 feet and weighs about 0.9 tons. Did I say calamari? I meant kraken. Number 15. Jackalopterus. The Jackalopterus is the kind of creature that you can usually find in science fiction stories. At its simplest, it's an ancient sea scorpion that lived nearly 400 million years ago. With a length reaching up to 9 feet, the Jackalopterus has become the largest arthropod to have ever existed. As for its weight, there are reports that place its weight somewhere around 0.36 tons but it's still a heavily discussed point among experts. I suppose on the bright side, unlike its present day cousins, it's not small enough to make your shoe its home. Number 14, Tanistrophius. At 20 feet long and with a weight clocking around only 0.4 tons, the Tanistrophius doesn't look like it's much of a threat compared to other creatures on this list. That is, until you find out that it's the kind of marine reptile that was amphibious. It can hurt on both land and underwater. According to paleontologists, it lived during the Triassic era, preferring to prowl the depths than the lands for prey. Number 13, Giant Oarfish. Oarfish are a pretty rare sight in the world today, which gave way to the superstition that there's a disaster coming when they wash ashore. True or not, the giant oarfish is a majestic sight indeed. These bony fishes can grow up to lengths of 36 feet, with the largest recorded weight being more than half a ton, at around 600 kilograms. Number 12, Liopleurodon. The Liopleurodon is the perfect poster boy for nightmares that can be found in the oceans, prehistoric or otherwise. It being a plesiosaur, which is a family of marine reptiles that are distinct from dinosaurs, this monster from the deep from the Jurassic period is estimated at around 30 feet long and weighs about 1.75 tons. If its size isn't enough to make you wet your pants, then how about the fact that its mouth is lined with teeth the size of kitchen knives? 
Luckily it's extinct, but even the thought still gives me the chills when I'm floating in the middle of the sea. Number 11, Dacosaurus. This monster from the Jurassic period is believed by experts to be similar to modern day crocodiles. However, instead of legs, it has fins on its side that allow it to glide underwater as it's hunted down its prey. Weighing two tons and growing to 16 feet long, the Dacosaurus' most dangerous weapon was its teeth, which looked like rows of talons. As such, it was one of the deadliest predators of its age. Number 10, Edestus. The Edestus is a prehistoric shark that lived around 300 million years ago, in an era known as the Carboniferous period. Based on its remains, the Edestus is estimated to have grown up to 22 feet long, with an approximate weight of two tons. Adding to its fearsome size, its nickname, Scissor-Toothed Shark, just makes it all the more horrifying compared to the modern day sharks of today. Number nine, Shastasaurus. This is another one of the Triassic period's giant marine monsters. This 65 foot long reptile belonged to the ichthyosaur family and weighed somewhere around five tons. Despite its imposing size, however, this breed of ancient animals was not exactly what you'd call an apex predator, since it preferred to feed on small fish than hunt bigger game. Still, that doesn't remove any of my fear of this creature. Number eight, Mosasaurus. If you've seen Jurassic World, you'll recognize this creature. Though, back when it was alive, it was a surface dweller, rather than a performing monkey at an extremely dangerous amusement park. This behemoth lived during the Cretaceous period and is a true apex predator when you consider its 60 foot long body that weighs somewhere within the area of five to six tons. Also, just because it's big doesn't mean it's sluggish. The giant fins on the Mosasaurus made it one of the most efficient hunters during its era. And with a mouth like that, it could kill sea turtles with a single chomp. Scary stuff, guys. Number seven. Tylosaurus. The Tylosaurus is what you could call a close cousin of the Mosasaurus. They are, on the other hand, smaller compared to their counterparts, being that they grow to only 50 feet long. As for their weight, it's a heavily debated topic, with theories ranging from anywhere between 15 to 20 tons. What they lack in size, though, they make up for in total savagery. Even by Cretaceous era standards, the Tylosaurus is one bad mother flipper. It's the kind of monster that, according to its remains, regularly fed on its young. That's just cruel. Number six, whale shark. Whale sharks, if anything, hold the right to bear the title of gentle giant. This krill eating species is the largest known to man with lengths reaching up to 41.5 feet and weighing approximately 20 tons. Sadly, whale sharks are in danger of becoming extinct thanks to a variety of reasons, with overhunting by humans for its fins and meat playing a primary role. A sad fact that makes you question who the monsters really are. Number five, sperm whales. Sperm whales can grow up to lengths of 67 feet and can weigh approximately 45 tons. That being the case, they are known as one of the largest predators in the known world. To be specific, they're recorded as the largest toothed predators, bar none. Despite their sizes having the capacity to kill a man with one swish of their tails, sperm whales actually prefer minding their own business in the deep sea, hunting mostly squid. Number four, Barzillosaurus. Despite its name suggesting that it's a reptile, the Barzillosaurus is actually an ancestor of the modern day whale. However, by no means can you call it a gentle giant. This titan lived about 40 million years ago and was known to be a vicious predator, eating sharks like they're a bunch of guppies. According to estimates, they grew up to 60 feet long and weighed up to 60 tons. Number three, Fin whale. Fin whales are known as the second largest animal in the world, which is right behind the next entry on this list in terms of size. These marine mammals can grow up to 89 feet long and possess a weight of 74 tons. Like other whales, this species mostly feeds on small fishes and crustaceans by way of filter feeding. Today, sadly, fin whales still belong on the endangered species list because of overhunting by man back in the 1900s. Number two, blue whale. Blue whales are the largest animals known to man, standing at around 90 feet long with a weight reaching up to 200 tons. These aquatic marvels are also becoming rarer and rarer in the world today. Despite blue whales not being predators, since their diet consists mainly of krill, tiny shrimp that it sucks into its mouth, there's still no reason to think that these giants cannot swallow you whole in one big gulp if you got in their way. 
To put its size into perspective, here are two fascinating facts. The tongue of the whale alone weighs as much as an elephant, and its heart as much as an automobile. Whoa. Number 1. Megalodon Despite being slightly smaller than the blue whale, its maximum size is still heavily debated, and given its ferociousness, you'd probably be frightened into thinking it was way bigger than any of the other creatures in this video. The Megalodon is the kind of beast that scoffs at dinosaurs. In general terms, it's a shark. Now, although sharks are scary enough as it is, just imagine one that looks almost exactly like a great white, except it's 60 feet long and weighs anywhere between 75 to 100 tons. To put things into perspective, great white sharks only grow somewhere around 20 feet and two to three tons. That is to say, the Megalodon just proves how immensely more brutal the world was a couple of million years ago. Do you think you'd have the guts to face any of these giants if they were around? We used to hide under the covers, serenade each other.